Hello, I'm Antonio Ivanovsky, coming from Skopje, Republic of Macedonia. I'm the founder and director of Go Green. Go Green is a youth environmental NGO that is focused on youth eco-activism, youth participation in environmental problems, environmental education and green jobs in waste sector and green jobs in the energy sector. I'm going to talk about the role of the trainers in empowering young people to take an active role in their local communities. My approach in working with young people is going from personal to collective level. So I understood that it is very difficult to activate a young person if he cannot really understand what he stands for. So the first part is about the personal discovery and about understanding what young people stand for. So they can actually see at the local problems in their community and address them from a point that they really believe and is connected with their values. In the personal discovery section, I use approach which is called whole person paradigm. Whole person paradigm is based on the author Stephen Covey that has the seven habits of highly effective people and the eighth habit. And I find it most simple way to actually explain to young people how to have the, perspe the, the perspective on themselves. It has four basic human elements. The four basic human elements are mind, body, heart and spirit. The spirit is actually in the middle because it is connected from the values and principles of a person. Uh, the first approach that I always do is discovering the personal values. So the personal values assessment is the first point of understanding participants what do they believe, what are their values and what do they stand for. Understanding individuals' values is actually a discussion that is very powerful among young people. They understand that actually there are many things that are important and it's difficult for them to prioritize. This means that they need to continue this self-reflection process in order to really polish what is important for them and what are their values. The second thing that the participants usually discover is that for one term, example, one value like happiness or love, different individuals have different understanding of one uh, same word. So this is a discussion where it's actually, it's not about the semantics and when we have debates, but it's actually about the meaning, what is behind this word. So when a person understands his personal values, then he can really discuss and start reflecting about the collective values and the society. It is important that we start from there because the political ideologies that are actually based in their local communities are based on certain values and principles. So this is how they would actually know in which way they can, which way they are passionate about and which way they can actually impact their local uh, surroundings. On the collective level, we start with an assessment of the local problems. So what are the issues that in, the local, in their local communities are repeating and what are the issues that they want to address? An example, it can be waste management, Example can be inclusion of marginalized groups. Uh, example can be uh, youth participation and decision-making process in their municipality. So when they define the issue, we have an assessment of defining the issue. They are understanding the environment in terms of which are the stakeholders that are important and related to that, to that issue. Who is responsible for taking the decision? Are there any representative bodies like youth local councils, local youth councils or national youth councils which actually represents the interest of young people in front of the municipality? Understanding the stakeholders, understanding the process, how they can influence the municipality decision-making process will make them understand how can actually propose their ideas in a certain uh, legislative system and they can influence the decision-making process in their local community. After they have understand the issue and the stakeholders that are important for tackling that issue, next step is mobilizing more people. Mobilizing more people means that you want to inform the public about the issue. There are different methods that you can do, but mobilization of more people actually creates bigger public pressure to the body that needs to take this decision. You want to bring awareness to the community, why is this important, and you, you can do that through different kind of ways. You can organize panel discussions, you can organize info meetings, you can organize social media ca campaign, and this is the step where they actually the mobilization and campaigning is happening. The next stage in the civic engagement 
management of young people is actually coaching them about developing policy papers or developing policy briefs or the youth positions on a certain issue. This is a political document that they can actually use in the decision-making process and they can influence the municipality's decisions. So the whole process of civic engagement of young people starts with actually understanding what they stand for, what they believe, and this is the process of self-assessment and the values assessment. From that process, they actually understand what is the issue they want to address and then is the whole process of how to address and who is the decision-making body in their local, national or regional government. And then is how do you write and how do you influence and make public pressure to politicians that actually they need to make this decision happen and that you felt that you made uh, this influence in your local community. That's why it is important to actually understand the circle of whole, whole person parting that I was talking about. When you're actually going to discover what you stand for and you're going to relate it to the issue that you're passionate about, then your mind is going to create the vision that you want to have for, for the world or for your local community. The vision will be fueled by the passion that you found for this issue and the body will actually give you the discipline to realize your vision. The circle in the, in the middle is actually the most important because it gives you the clarity of the values and principle that you are advocating for and the feeling that you're doing the right thing. We work with municipalities, with schools, with young people in Macedonia and all over Europe. If you want to get in touch and learn more about youth eco-activism, environmental education or green jobs, you can find us on gogreen.mk or on our Facebook page Go Green Zelen. And subscribe on this YouTube channel if you want to hear more about different approaches of different trainers all around Europe and all around the world. Thank you.